Welcome to the show. We've got a great show today. This is the continuation of part one. I guess that's pretty obvious since it's titled part two. Yesterday we made this throwing axe out of rebar and today we're going to put a wrap on it, just a handle wrap, and we're going to test it. Uh, but it did occur to me that I don't think I showed yesterday very much of the process of kind of finishing out the, the blade and putting an edge on it. So I'm going to roll in a little bit of that footage here. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. When that's done, we'll get right down to doing the wrap and, uh, and testing it. One thing I will mention uh, to put the edge on this, I used the uh, sort of the soft part of the belt. That was to give it a little bit of a convex edge, which I tend to favor, especially on like an axe or a hatchet because uh, it's a very strong edge. With that said, I don't know whether this is actually recommended by the manufacturer of this particular belt grinder, but it is a technique I've found pretty useful. Uh, I will leave you to your own decisions about that. And of course, as always, uh, wear the proper eye protection and, uh, and breathing protection when you're working with uh, this type of equipment. For those of you who didn't actually catch part one, uh, you may have noticed I had a link at the beginning. I will also put a link at the end of this video so you can go back and watch part one if you haven't seen it. So moving on to the handle wrap, I thought about using something like paracord or a possibly a leather cord, but after giving it a little bit of thought, uh, it does seem like the grungy urban apocalypse kind of look would lend itself pretty well to just my regular go-to uh, hockey tape wrap. So that's what we'll be doing here. I didn't have a whole lot of black left. Uh, so I started out with white just to give a, a nice large padded area for the hand. And then I used the little bit of uh, black tape that I had left to wrap over the white part. Uh, and you'll see here that I also uh, used the black tape to wrap up the joint where the two pieces are welded together. Of course, you could wrap this any number of different ways. There are a lot of different video tutorials on various wraps that you could do. When I'm working with something that's kind of grungy like this or that I, uh, that I expect to maybe see some hard use, I like to use the hockey tape wrap because it's actually really durable and of course it's inexpensive and of course if it does eventually wear out uh, it's pretty easy to replace. One more note here, in some ways I kind of like the look of this with the white tape wrap but as you can already see the white is not going to stay white. You know even over a few days of use it would probably take on a really kind of awful dirty grungy look. So at that point I uh, did decide to do the black tape over the white wrap. Now of course I could have left the joint area without a wrap. I mean, the welds don't look great, but they don't look that bad either, and I probably could have cleaned it up a little bit more with, uh, with a grinder, maybe with a flap sanding disc or something. But I kind of like the idea of just having a crisscrossed black tape wrap that pretty well matches the handle wrap. And I think when you see the finished product here, it, it looks pretty decent. So with the wrap done, the only thing left to do is to test it. For the most part, I'm going to let the testing process speak for itself. You know, this definitely is not a, a big time wood chopper. Uh, you could probably use it for busting up kindling and maybe some other smaller tasks, uh, but that's not really what it's designed for. You know, it's designed to be a throwing axe that will give you the maximum probability of having either the blade or one of the points come into contact with the target. So after fiddling around trying to split and cut wood a little bit, I decided that was no fun. So I pretty quickly abandoned that part of the test and uh, just went straight into throwing the axe. And yes, I definitely do need to work on my aim, uh, but I did get a few good hits here, so I'll do my best to show that off. Now I do want to answer any critics at this point. Uh, some of you might be sensitive to the waste of food. Uh, let me tell you, on our little tiny farm, pretty much nothing goes to waste. Oh, 
Well, that's about it for today. Again, I will post a link here to the part one video so you can go and check that out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And with that, I'll say thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video.